everyone. My name is Graham Ayler Sheldon. I'm a Sigma Ambassador, and we're here at NAB 2024 in the Fujifilm booth with Michael from Fujifilm. How's it going, Michael? Hey, Graham. It's going great. It's been a really nice turnout so far. So, Michael, tell me about just the overall state of X mounts uh, when it comes to Fujifilm these days. You know, we've got like five different bodies available at different price points, you know, from under $1,000 to about $2,500 to suit everybody's needs. Now, of course, Sigma has a variety of X-mount lenses, currently seven in total that cover from 16 millimeter all the way to 400 millimeter. Tell me a little bit about uh, Fujifilm as a company. I was thinking about a little earlier, what makes, you know, Sigma and Fujifilm such great friends and partners, and I mean, 90 years, that's a lot of pedigree. Yeah, and you know, and as a corporation, we're actually a gigantic corporation. We, we make a lot of things other than photographic equipment. But what's interesting, I think, between, say, us and Sigma, both being Japanese companies, and I do know that I think we both embrace the concept of something called Kaizen, which means constant improvement. So you never rest, rest on your laurels. You're always trying to make things better, make things user friend, more user-friendly, better performing, and that means listening to the customer. And I know that on the optical side, you know, you're getting feedback from your end users they want this this focal length, or they want this to be a little lighter, or they want, can you take a half stop off of that lens? You know, so we approach our customers from the same point of view. Yeah, and I think, you know, for us uh, on the Sigma side, a lot of that listening to feedback from the customers comes out of, you know, Sigma being very much uh, still a, a family company. Um, it feels like that in North America, but it very much is that on, on the Japan side as well. And I think that extends to the design philosophy as well when it comes to, you know, Sigma lenses tend to be fairly neutral. And I, and I think Fujifilm also has a sort of neutral, um, you know, point of view when it comes to making these tools for filmmakers. Is that true? Yes, as a matter of fact, if we go back to our motion picture film stock days, one of the outstanding qualities of our movie film stocks was, in fact, they had a very, very neutral grayscale. Blacks, the grays, the whites. We didn't have color crossovers of any kind. They were really, really exactly designed to give a neutral starting point for the cinematographer to basically dial in whatever they want with filtration and lighting, you know, of course, and back then with processing and things like that. And we still believe that. Yeah, that's a great way of looking at it. And Sigma lenses tend to be, you know, sharp from edge to edge, but also having, you know, a neutral approach when it comes to color. But I want to talk about what you're holding your hand here. This is an X-H2S, uh, is it? This is an X-H2S, correct, which is our flagship in the XF, X series of, of cameras. It's an XF mount. Right, and this is a Sigma 10 to 18 DC on here, 2.8 lens, which is remarkably small, compact, lightweight. So if you look at this right here, I mean, what an incredibly compact package paired with a 10 uh, to 18. I mean, I'm, I'm just really happy that Sigma was able to sort of keep that minimalist perspective going on the optics side while you guys kept that going on the camera side. You know, Sigma lenses, Fujifilm, they're a great combination. So if people want more information, they can just go to fujifilm-x.com, uh, read all about the cameras and of course our, some of our lenses as well, and there's lots of instructional and demo films on there as well. Michael, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Pleasure to be here. So on the Sigma side, go to sigmaphoto.com for more information, and that's it for us here at NAB 2024 at the Fujifilm booth.